G'day and welcome to the Paul Wallace channel. It's a red letter day today. It's the launch day of my new book, The Scars of Eden. Has humanity confused the idea of God with memories of ET contact? The prequel, Escaping from Eden, has become an international bestseller. And I want to thank you so much for your enthusiasm for that book, your engagement with it, and all the conversation that I've enjoyed with so many of you over the last months. The Scars of Eden will take you more deeply into the mysteries of world mythologies all around the world to see the breadth of close encounter and abduction phenomena. It'll take you deeply into the story of suppression and mistranslation of ancient narratives. And in a first person conversation with researchers including Richard Dolan, Maxim Kukov, Barbara Lamb and Eric Von Daniken. I was absolutely blown away when George Norrie on Coast to Coast described escaping from Eden as this generation's chariots of the gods. And I wondered how Eric Von Daniken might receive that. But I needn't have worried because he has endorsed the scars of Eden with these wonderful words. There is absolutely no doubt our planet was visited by extraterrestrials in the deep past. Paul Wallace discusses the variety of views on the question of extraterrestrials. Exciting. I absolutely recommend The Scars of Eden. Do our world mythologies convey our ancestors' ideas about God, or are they in reality ancestral memories of extraterrestrial contact? And how do ancient stories of contact, adaptation, and abduction relate to people's experiences around the world today? Every week I hear from people, and some weeks it's every day, I hear from veterans of war whose engagement in the theatres of war around the world today have dislodged them from the mainstream stories to ask profound questions about our origins as a species and the roots of today's geopolitics. I hear from people whose experiences have clued them that we are not alone on our own planet and in this corner of the cosmos. I hear from people of all different kinds of religious backgrounds, including people in ministry, who have seen things in their ancient texts that need an explanation. People contact me and say, how do you square what you're researching with an understanding of God or an understanding of science? People ask, what are the implications for how you and I should actually live our lives right now? If those questions are of interest to you, then you will enjoy the Scars of Eden. And I've written it also as a gateway book. You could give this book to anybody, a person with a zero interest in the subject or who gives it zero credibility, can pick this up and The Scars of Eden will take them from zero to realizing, oh my goodness, there's something serious here for me to give my attention to. The Scars of Eden will take you more widely around the world, more deeply into our mythologies and ancestral narratives, right up to the minute in terms of current disclosures and revelations as we probe these questions. And if our ancestors did have contact, what is the legacy of it today? In our psychology as a species, in our religious thought, in our geopolitics, what are the marks that clue us that humanity has confused the idea of God with memories of ET contact? Barbara Lamb, the renowned psychotherapist, says, I have learned so much from the scars of Eden. Paul Wallace has written a really fascinating book and has expressed the awareness of many cultures in such a personable way. I hope this book will be well received and have a large audience. I will encourage many people to read it. Jamie Leonardo of The Movie Show on SBS, Love and Anarchy, and The Naked World Podcast, the Vice President and Secretary of UFO Research New South Wales, says this, great art and literature can be transformative. It has the power to change lives and profoundly enlighten. We highly recommend Paul's extraordinary works of investigation to all those searching for a more enlightened path of living. The Scars of Eden brings much humility and insight to one of the most contaminated fields of inquiry, 21st century ufology. 
history will recognise Paul Wallace's important works as a solid foundation in the true understanding of humanity's origins. I've been absolutely thrilled by people's engagement with the work that's gone into the Scars of Eden. If you've watched the Fifth Kind TV or the Paul Wallace channel or read Escaping from Eden, you'll know some of the background to it. And I want to give a special shout out and thanks to my readers from the Philippines who have been so enthusiastic in engaging with me and speaking to me about the mythologies of their culture that relate to questions of our origins and our place in the universe today. So many of you have fared into the work that has led to the Scars of Eden, and I want to thank you so much for being part of this amazing conversation. Thank you so much for engaging with me, and can I ask you a big favor? Get your copy of Scars of Eden from Amazon, Kindle, Barnes & Noble, Book Depository, Hive, Goodreads, Waterstones, Booktopia, Angus & Robertson, wherever books are sold. And when you get your copy, can I ask you to post a review on the platform where you bought the book and any platform that allows you to post reviews. Share your thoughts, add your voice to the buzz, and those reviews, especially in the early weeks, really help the book to chart and get attention. It's topical in 2021 because later this year we're going to have the Senate Intelligence Briefings where the Pentagon is going to tell government what it knows about ET encounters. Or so we think. My hope is that the Scars of Eden can play its part in moving these conversations forward. So thank you once again for engaging with me on the Fifth Kind TV on the Paul Wallace channel. April the 30th is the launch date in the UK, the 1st of May in Australia, the USA and all around the world. Keep your eye open for me on Coast to Coast. I'm there on the 3rd of May talking to George Norrie once again. I look forward to reading your review and getting into conversation with you here on the Paul Wallace channel and at the Fifth Kind TV. Thank you once again for being part of this amazing conversation and I look forward to connecting with you.